So let's open our legs to shoulder width apart and breathe it up three times. So let's bend our knees as we do this breathing. We want it to be a full body breath. Let's do it three more times. I feel like we need three more times. Good, and two, and one. And then we go side to side. There we go. You got it. Keep going. I'm sliding because I have my socks on, but I need to warm up a little bit. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and we're going to reach out. Take that turn up and up and up and up and up and up and, up and four and three. Turn everything, keeping the hips forward and one. Back to center, left leg, right knee, up and back, up and back, up and back. Five more, five, four, good, three, two, hold it here on one. We take the leg behind us into our quad stretch, good. Try to draw those knees toward each other, pull the belly button to the spine, lift yourself up and drop your shoulder blades and bring it down. Uh, right knee, left, right foot, left knee. Boom. Two, three, four, four more, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Nine. And here we go on 10. Slip it behind and bring it up. Good. Nice. Three, 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 three. Good job. Come back to the back. Open wide. And it's over and over and over and over and over and over and four three two now hold it over here on one sit behind that knee don't let it go forward sit behind it nice long line bring your head to your tailbone i'd like you to take the left arm over to the right ankle and then open your chest over to the side nice long stretch right here good bring it down walk it through to the other side Let's go and just hold it to begin. Make sure that knee is behind the ankle and then reach across and look up. Nice, get that stretch. Come back to the center. Try to bring your arms down and open your legs just a little bit more, bring your arms down as far as you can. There we go, good. Now lift it up into neutral back and bring it down one more time and lift it up and heel and toe those legs together. Curl yourself up and then side to side again. Good, you've got it. Yes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna swing up, swing up, swing up, swing up, swing up, swing up. Good, you've got four more sets. Four and three, good, two, Last one of those sides. Here we go. Come back to the center. Soft knees. Roll your shoulder back. Bring your knees soft. And four. Take it forward. Two and three and four. We're going to need those stretches today. Take the head across and come to the center and the head across and come to the center. Let's breathe it up three times. Take it up and down. Two more up and down. Last time up and down, nice job. So now we're gonna to go to that towel and I'll take my socks off. So if you don't have your towel while I take my socks off, is a good time to go get it. All right, so one of the things I wanna show you is the towel position first. So you're gonna have your towel folded long ways or, or crunched up long ways into the strap position. You wanna take your arms out and make it tight. That's why we like a towel, not something or a strap, not something more flexible. You really want to push that out, but it doesn't come over your head. It, it works out to the front right here. Okay, you got that? So we're going to lunge backwards. And as we bring our leg back, bring the towel down to our chest and out to that a diagonal position. All right? So let's starting on the, we're going to alternate, do 20 sets, and then we're going to focus on one side. All right, take it back and one. Good two, push it out. Now, the intensity three with which you hold your towel will be the determinant for of how much work you get in those shoulders. Good, here comes number six, six, nice, six. So you got it, seven, seven, good, eight, diagonal, 
Eight, you got it. Nine, and nine, good job. 10, and 10, perfect. 10, and good. Coming down for nine, nine. You already, you're feeling it in your shoulders and your neck. Eight, nice. Eight, perfect. Seven, seven, six, six, five, reach back. Five, four, four, three, three, two, two, and one. And one. Now, what I'd like you to do is just hold your hands on your hips, keep your towel there, and we're just going to go back with the right leg. Take it back for two, two three, four. Nice long dip. Five. So that front knee stays kind of anchored. Six. You feel a little shift back on the heel. Seven. But you don't let go of it. Eight. And you want to try to bend that knee down in the back. Ten more. Good. So ten. Good. Nine. Good job. Eight. Seven. We're going to have a pulse. And we're going to stay back there. Six while we do upper body. Five. Four. Good job. Three. Two, let's go back there on one. Take it back there. Give me 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Stay down there. Snap your towel into position, right? Back to the chest. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really pull to the sides. Eight. I want you to feel it. So there's deltoids. Nine, ten. Stay in that lunge position. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Really pull it. Four. Three, you need this towel on Sunday too. Two, and now you're gonna pulse it down for 20. 19, 18, pull it, 17, 16, belly button, spine, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1. Step it together, bring the towel down, hands on the hips, go back for 20 on the other side. One, good. Two, you've got it. Three, good job. Four, nice. Five, six, don't let your body tilt forward. Seven, you keep your torso uh, over your hips. Nine, good. Ten more. Ten, good. Nine, good. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, good job. Three, two, you're gonna hold it back here on one, hit that 20, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, hold it down there on one step. That talent to place on the chest. One, good. Two, exhale up. Three, inhale. Four, five, six, you've got it. Seven, eight, good. Nine, ten more. Ten, nope, really pull to those sides. Nine, eight, and we're gonna pulse this at the end. Seven, Six, good. Five, four, three, two. Now bring it to the chest. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1. Step in. Now we're going to take it from the top, the alternating with the lift to the diagonal. Let's go for 20. 1. Good. 2. So this is going to finish off the first round. 3, 4, 5, 6. Good. 7, 8. You got it. 9, 10. Good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is only 10 sets, so we got to do 10 more. 8, 9, 10, 20 more. 1, good. 2, 3, good. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, last 10. One, good. Two, three, four, good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring it together. Now, the next set, you're going to have the towel in a different position. So you're going to have the towel on the chest. It's going to lift straight up. It's going to kind of brush past your face. These are like your militaries, okay? So instead of lunge back, we're gonna do the dips. We'll start with the right leg and do singles for 20. Bring the right leg as far back as you can. Towel to the top, take it down and one. Down, exhale, two. Inhale, three, four. And this will have pulses. Five, six, push through. Seven, so you see the difference. Eight, we're going this way before. Nine, we're going this way now. 10 more. 10, nine, eight, you got it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down and pulse it. 20, 19, 18, 17, get deep into those shoulders, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Step it together. On this side, we're going to pause at the top so we have that difference. Be aware of that. Okay, let's go. One, good. You changed legs, right? Three. Four, good, five, six, seven, eight, good job, nine, ten more, really reach at ten. You want to feel this extension, nine, but don't let the shoulders go up, eight, the shoulder blades stay down all the time, seven, six, good, five, four, good, three, Two, now you're going to hold it up here and pulse upward. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, keep going. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Step together. All right, we're going to go back to those lunge dips again. But now you're gripping the towel from underneath. Your hands come into a your fingers and thumbs come together over the top of the towel. You're going to be your bicep curl, so really pull it to the side. We're going to do a three count to the back and then one to the center. So it's one, two, three. That's one. One, two. There will be a pulse. Two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, pull it, pull it. Two, three, five. One, so this should also get your shoulders because you're pulling it. One, two, three, seven. While you're doing the bicep curl, three, eight, one, two, three, nine. Keep going. Now remember, one, two, three, the towel goes all the way down, but a quarter of the way, one, two, three, quarter of the way up. Don't take it all the way up, okay? Don't relax it. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twen
three, eight. One, two, three, seven. Get that knee down as much as you can. Six. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, three. And pulse. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Squeeze it. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Now you can be doing this with weights, of course. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Step it in. Other side, same thing. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 1. 1, 2, 3, 2. 1, 2, 3, 3. 1, 2, Three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten to go. Really squeeze it. One, and again, make sure your uh, ankle, uh, wrist is long. Eight, one, two, three, seven. We have a tendency to flex our wrists. Six, one, two, three, five. I can't believe I looked right at my wrist and said ankle. Four, one, two, three, three. One, two, three, two. Let's go. Pause at 20, 19, pull at 18, 17. Keep that elbow into that way. 16, 15, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Step it together. Okay, great. Make the towel long again. All right, like this. So we're going to step out to the side and back to the center. Just hold it at your waist for now. 1, good. 2, you've got it. 3, good job. Four, nice. Five, together hip width apart. Six, good. Seven, you've got it. Eight, so you bend that outer knee. It's like a one legged lunge. Ten, ten, we're gonna pulse it and stay over there. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Good. Four. Good job. Three. Nice. Two. Foot stays forward. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, stay there on one, put the towel up, stay there. Take it over and one. Now here's the thing, two, if you have shoulder concerns, take it out to the front and take it over. Four, five, okay, because for some of you this is too high. Six, seven, pull it out. Eight, it's right over your head. Nine, long wrists, no we get pulse. Ten, ten, nine, eight, Seven, good job. Six, five, really pull it. Four, three, two, let's pulse it downwards. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, bring it up on one. Straighten my mat out. I realize a little crooked because my mat's crooked. Hands at the waist. Down and one. Down and two. Down and three. Four. Good job. Five. Six. Nice. Seven. Eight. Nine. I just straightened my legs parallel. They were turned out ten more. 10, so if yours are turned out, nine, put them parallel, eight, good. 
seven, we want to get that one-legged squat. We don't want the quad to pick it up. Six, five, good. So parallel legs, four, three, two. Let's do that pulse. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Bring it up on one. Let's go. Down and one. Down and two. Three. All right. If the knee bothers you, come up. Four, right? Five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Nine. Ten more. Good, good. Ten. Nine. Nice. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Let's pulse it. Twenty. Nineteen. Eighteen. Seventeen. Sixteen. Fifteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Come to the center on the one. Okay. Bring it back to bicep right here. So elbows into the uh, to the waist. Now you're taking your legs out into your plie position. Let's go down and one. Just hold it here. Hold it up as if you're holding a tray. Four, just like this. Five. Six, Ooh, sliding. Seven, let's move this out of the way. Eight, nine, ten more. Yes, ten, nine, nice and low. Eight, keeping your hip over your tailbone. Don't hinge it all. Seven, at the waist, it's all hips. Six, five, there will be a pulse. Four, three, good. Two, let's push it down there. Twenty. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hold it here. Push it out. And 1. Keep it on the same plane. So you're just removing it from your waist and putting it back at the waist. It doesn't go up or down. So this is bicep and front deltoids. 5, 6, Seven, stay in your uh, plie eight, nine, ten more, good, ten, nine, good, eight, you've got it, seven, six, five, four, three, two, you're going to hold it on here on one little lift, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1. Bring it up. We're going to do plies with a three count. Put your hands back at your waist. 1, 2, 3, 1. This is our finisher. 1, 2, 3, 2. 1, 2, 3, 3. 1, 2, 3, Four. So you know what I say, every hotel room has a towel, <laughs> so you can always do your workouts. Three, seven, when we all have nice shiny gym floors, eight, it's even more challenging. Two, three, because we put the towel under our feet. Two, three, ten more. One, two, three, ten. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, Eight, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, two. Hold it down here on one. So we go side to side to center. That's one. Then go to the other side. Bring it back in first. Side to side to center, that's two. Side to side 
to center, that's three. Make sure you're still holding that towel. Side to side to center, that's four. So you can feel the back working and the shoulders, that's five. Good for the rhomboids. High to center, that's six. Good, side to side to center, that's seven. Side to side to center, that's eight. Good, side to side to center, that's nine. Are you getting abs? Of course you are. Side to side to center, that's 10. Last set, side to side to center, that's 10. Side to side to center, that's nine. We'll have a pulse at the end. Side to side to center, that's eight. Good, side to side to center. See how the hips remain steady. Seven, side to side to center, that's six. Side to side to center, that's five. Side to side to center, that's four. Side to side to center, that's three. Side to side to center, that's two. Side to side, and here we do centers for 20. 20, 19, 18, tight. 17, tighter. 16, 15, 14, bounce of dime off of it. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Bring yourselves back to the center. Wipe your brow with your towel. We're putting it away until Sunday's Pilates, and we'll use it again. Before we go down for our next exercise, I just want to do some shoulder rolls and some neck stretches. Then we're going down for some pipe work. So we're not completely done with the shoulders and back. So take your foot back a little bit, right foot, foot, and we right shoulder back. So you always want to take the respective foot back on that sh on the shoulder you're rolling and then forward good three and four then put your hand behind your back pull it with your wrist and take your ear to the ceiling nice and then bring it around to the front and do a stop sign for your bicep hold it there release it rotate your wrist in one direction and then the other, and we'll go those fingers as you're gripping that towel. Let's go left. Roll the shoulders back for four, three and four. Roll it forward for four, one and two and three and four. Pull it down, take the ear to the ceiling. So today it doesn't feel the aspiration, it feels really doable. Good, and then go to your stop sign. Then release, rotate the wrist in one direction and then the other. Yes, and then fingers. Yeah, all right. So let's get our mats. And we're going to curl down into a downward facing. You're going to curl down to a downward facing dog walk and we'll walk back up. Yeah, I changed positions so it's a little different. So I'm not always perfect with the walls. We'll get more perfect. A lot of cords under them. Cords under them. Okay, so the way we're going to get down to the downward facing dog. If you're not already down, you're going to stand at the end of your mat, curl yourself down, walk your legs forward, and walk the other legs back. The other legs, walk your hands forward, walk your legs back. Open to hip width apart. I want you to push your chest toward your thigh, drop your heel down. Okay, just hold this for like 20 seconds. I want you to breathe into it. Try to push those heels down so we elongate those. Um, hamstrings and the ankle. Get behind that ankle. Good. Just keep breathing it. Don't worry, lots of fun is coming. All right, open your arms to the edges of the mat. The edge of the mat. Walk a little bit more forward. Open your arms to the edge of the mat. Keep your legs nice and long. You're gonna do pipe push-ups for 20. You're gonna bring your chest down and one. If you feel like your head is going toward the floor, that's right. Three, four, but I want you to focus on your shoulders, chest and neck. Five, six, keep everything aligned. Don't let the head plop. Eight, nine, good. 10 more. 10, nine, good. Eight, push it. 
seven, six, nice, five, four, three, two, and one. Now walk your hands in from the corner and you're gonna touch opposite knees. One, two, good, three, four. And we're gonna come up between sets so that our head gets balanced. Six, good, seven, try to get it back into position. Eight, nice, nine, pull that belly button in. 10 more, good, 10. Everything feels as the triceps, nine, eight, this is so good. Seven, six, five, four, good, three, nice, two, and both sides for one. Walk the hands in, draw yourselves up, bring your hands behind, for nice chest, chest lift. When we go on to set two, there'll be five sets in all, right? So that we get a hundred um, pipe push-ups. Pull yourself down, walk it out into your downward facing dog. Put your heels down, chest toward the thighs. Hold this for 20 seconds, then we'll move into the push ups. Push those heels down, really feel the extension. Nice. All right, take the hands to the edge of the mat or outside the mat. One. So if this is keep on two, this is too difficult for you. Three, come on down to the floor, create a box. Four, and maybe do it down here. Five. Six, but if you come down to the floor, seven, I want you to keep those arms wide so that we can still target the back and not just the chest. We want to work them together. Nine, 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, good, five, four, three, two, and one, walk them just inside the mat. And we're gonna hit respective hips. So right hand to right hip. Two, good. Three, nice. Four, nice. Five, six, keep going. Seven, eight, nine, ten more. 10, nine, keep going to the edge of my mat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, both sides. Walk it in, curl yourself up. Stretch the triceps, bring it behind. Press on the muscle, pump the joint. We want to get our head lifted every time. Other side, press on the muscle, not the joint. We're going to go to set three. All right, let's walk it down. Again, your hip width apart right in the center. Take it down. Walk it out, walk your feet back. Hold it for 20 seconds. Make sure you're still hip width apart. Draw that chest toward those thighs. Keep your head on your spine. You want everything in alignment, so don't push your nose toward the thighs, right? All right, walk those hands out to outside the mat. Let's do 20. Two, again, you can be down here. Three, and it's all a matter of four of breathing. So you inhale down and exhale up five. So inhale down, exhale up six. Good job. Seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Walk those hands into where your ears are. So align with your ears. So now we're doing opposite wrists. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, stay in that downward dog. Nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Both sides. 
and curl it back up. So for this break, we're going to run take the wrists. Take them out for eight, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and in one. So you, you have less to do than you've done. Five, six, seven, and eight. Isn't that good news? All right, let's take it down. A downward facing dog. Curl it down. Walk it out. Walk your feet back. Now on this one, we're going to do a little more tricep. So you're going to bring your thumbs and uh, fingers together and come down and one. It's a lot harder to get less range of motion, three, but you can feel how four, five, those triceps are loaded, six. And again, you need to come down, put those fingers together, eight, nine, ten, all right? 10, so for those of you who need to build up nine, keep going to that longer pike. Eight, I actually think pikes are easier than regular push-ups. Seven, because you get so much of body framework to support you. Six, five, four, like walking off of that. Three, two, and one. Now, for this one, make sure your hands are parallel. You're gonna take out and one. Out and two, so out to the side and into the center. Three, out and four, out and five, six, seven, eight. Lift those glutes up, don't let them fall down. 10 more, I feel them falling. Nine, are they? Eight, seven, six, good. Five, four, good job. Three, two, and one. All right, walk it back in and take it all the way up. So for this break, we only have our last set to go. Bring your hands together and push them back. Good. And release it down. Final set. This one's going to be wide arms and wide legs. So let's go. Roll yourself down. Walk into your downward facing dog, walking the legs back and the arms down, hold 20. Push those heels down. Oh, the floor, keep walking down. All right, take the hands outside the mat, the legs outside the mat, and take it down and one, down and two, down and three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Boy, those shoulders, right? Ten more. Good. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, now walk the hands all the way to the center. And we're gonna go elbow, elbow, and one. Elbow, elbow, and two. Elbow, elbow, and now you're probably not getting your elbow all the way down, and that's fine. Elbow, elbow, down six. Elbow, elbow, down seven. Elbow, down eight. Elbow, elbow, down nine. Elbow, elbow, down 10. Elbow, elbow, down 10. Elbow, elbow, down 9. 8, 7. Really reach for those hamstrings. 6, 5. You do this on the plane too. 4. And our elbows definitely go down. 3, 2, and 1. And bring yourself into tabletop. And now bottom of the tail. So curl them like that. And help bottom and chin up. So curl them like a cat. And help bottom and chin up. So curl them like a cat. Open those uh, knees, put the feet together, and sit back into child pose. Mm -hmm. All right, bring yourselves up. Grab one weight if you want to. You don't have to use the weight, but center and strength, centering and strengthening tries to uh, take Pilates to another level. So we like to add the weight. 
We're going to work obliques because we're going to work down that back and down that front for the first 40 minutes of this class. So let's try to get some oblique work. We're going to start simple. So just get your weight. Put your feet in front of you and lie yourself all the way down. You're going to hold your weight by the dumbbell head, right? Remember which hand is closer to the head and which one is layered because later on, as we move along, I'd like you to switch hands. So we keep those shoulders in the rest of us trying to keep our balance. Before we start, let's make sure our belly button is to the spine. Our abs are up and under a rib cage. We're not pushing down the lumbar. We're on the back of our head and we have soft ribs. Right. I want you to bring it close to your chest, right here. And all you're going to do for this one is curl up and lie down for 20. So curl up and one. Curl up and two. Just a middle curl and we'll work it. Do something else. Three, four, five as we go on. Six, just get it all tight. Seven, if you feel tight. And you go into that kickstand. Nine, remember to keep the neck uh, curling and into that C position. Ten more. Ten, because you don't want to feel your neck carrying your head, right? Your back is carrying your head. Eight, seven, and your core is. Six, keep going. We're going to get to the top. Five, four, good. Three, pull it in. Two, hold it up here for that. Twenty, nineteen, eighteen. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, pull it 9, 8, pull that down, 7, you're scooping, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, take the legs to tabletop, stay in your curl up. So now you're going to go one side, 2, back to center, 3, 4, 5, Six, good. Seven, eight, nine. This will have a curl up to ten. Now, ten more. Ten. If you can't keep your head in a curl up, nine, two things. Eight, you can put your hand behind it. Seven, but make sure you're not pushing it to your chin or letting it fall back. Six, so you just cradle it at the bottom of your head. Five, and then you're just using the weight. You might even get rid of the weight. Four. Three, or you can lie down. Two and one. Let's go to the other side. Don't forget to switch your hands, okay? Let's go. One, center, two, stay up. Three, four, good job. Five, six, seven, nice, neat, tabletop, eight, nine. So when you get 10, when you get to working, your legs start to fall 10. Nine, so we're articulating and doing power through everything. Eight, even our legs. Seven, so keep them up there. Six, last five, and four, three more, and two, and one, and bring it back to center. Nice job. We're coming on to our side. <clears throat> so we're going to pipe, so we keep that weight. So if you don't have a light weight, just go without a weight, okay? Because this is going to be, um, we're going to be doing more shoulder. You're going to put your hand behind your leg, okay? So your leg's going to go forward as your arm goes down, and then up. Two, nice. Three. Now, again, if you have shoulder issues, I'd rather have you not do this. Five. Six. Just touch with your toes. Seven. Nice. Eight, so work that waist. Nine, ten more. You will have a pulse. Ten, nine, good. Eight, you got it. Seven, six. So when your arm comes up, it goes right across from your shoulder. So don't take it way up by your ear. And here's hold it. Twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, bring it to the front on one. So now we're going to just use the leg for those of you. Bring the knee to the front, down and center. Two, 
three, four. So there is a possibility. You want to put it, keep going five. You want to put it behind your leg. Six, seven, and you get a lot of glue. Eight, nine, ten more. Good. Ten, there will be a pulse. Nine, upper body stays um, anchored. Seven, and you're hip to hip. It's a ceiling. Nine, eight, I think I'm counting funny. Six, let's say five, four, three, two, let's pause it, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Now, when you're holding a weight with your leg, the, the ten, you want to create tension in the back. Keep pulsing by flexing your foot, but try to resist that. Try to keep it in a neutral position and bring it back here. So now we're going back with the whole leg, not just the knee, and center. Two, again, you don't have to have the weight in there. Three, because I have chunky legs, it's easier for me to hold the weight. Four, five, if you have knee issues, no weight. Six, keep yourself lifted. Seven, eight, good job. Nine, nice. Ten more, pulse back there. Ten, nine, nice upper body anchor. Eight, if you can't uh, do this without holding your shoulder, go all the way down. Seven, six, keep all those modifications, five, in your arsenal. So when I ask you to modify, you can remember four, three, two, let's pause it. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring it back to center. Take that weight out and extend that leg. Bring your legs to center. You're going to lean back. If you need to tower under you, go for it. We're going to do fresh the twist. You can hang your legs off the floor or on the floor. You can lift and lower alternating the legs, or you can just keep them on the floor. Let's go. 1, 2, all those obliques, three, four. So you're holding it by the dumbbell hips, five. Don't over grip it, six, good. Seven, eight, good. Nine, 10 more, good. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go to the other side. We are getting there. Take one button off. Get into your pike position. Right, so that means your glutes are back, your elbows back, you're lifted over your shoulder, your hips are off the floor, and we have our weight behind us. Let's go. Down and one. Down and two. Down and three. Right to center. Down and four. Down and five, down and six, down and seven, down and eight, down and nine, down and ten more, ten. Again, hips are stacked to the ceiling. Seven, good. So you want to check that six. You can be all the way down. Five, four, you got it. Three, nice. Two, and one, okay, here we go. You can go without the weight, with the weight, bend the knee. Get ready, down and one. So the front one, you tilt it downwards, three. When you take it to the back, you take the whole bit, leg back a little bit, four, five. I want you to get this glue, six, good. Seven, eight, nine, neutral foot. 10, try not to move the upper body. So 10, so sometimes when we move the lower body, we're wiggling a little bit like seven. So try not to wiggle, six, five, four, anchor that top. Again, lifting your arm helps, three, because that makes you long, two. Let's pause, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. Back and one. Remember, whole leg. Back and two. Back and feel this stretch in the front of the hip. Four. Nice. Five. Six. You got it. Seven. Eight. Nice job. Nine. Good. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Feel that? Five. I do. Four. We're going to need to stretch it. What? Three. Two. Let's go. Twenty. Nineteen. Eighteen. Seventeen. Sixteen. Fifteen. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2. And bring the back up on one. Take the weight out. Extend the legs and bring yourself to a nice lifted sit. Let's move that weight out of the way. Put it in the weight basket. Walk your glutes back. Lift your body up. Roll your shoulders back. You've got a lot of stretching to do. If you can't complete the whole stretch with us today, try to stretch in the shower, wherever you're going for your rest. <clears throat> this is a lot of emphasis. <clears throat> Back of the hands together. Onto the smaller muscles, right? Those smaller muscles can be really persistent. You want them to, you know, they're not divas like the quads. The quads are divas, right? And they take over no matter what. The smaller muscles don't know how to assert themselves. So they let themselves get, rotate them in so one direction and the other. Please pull the muscle toward your chest. Don't pull the shoulder out, right? A lot of people do this incorrectly and it's hard on their shoulder either way. Nice. We're going to do an open twist. So bring one leg up, the big arm in front of that thigh. Sweep the other arm around and then up into your spine. Take the knee on, exhale. Great. Good. I like this one for this for the today's exercise because you can actually feel it in your hip. Ah, oh, it's kind of amazing. Come back to the center. See that leg? You're going to let it drop forward and take the other one back so we get that tension here, right? Stay nice and lifted. You can get a lot under here. You want your hips facing down. Your hands in front of you and nice long stretch. Now come on down to your elbows and feel that <clears throat> the glute and hip try to give it up. Roll yourself up and bring those legs back to center. Open, twist on the other side. Let's pick it up. Lift and loose. Get it over there. Use your breath to make the difference. And inhale back to center. Nice job. Here comes our pigeon. And <clears throat> we take it down. Nice. My face is right in the bed right now, so it's good. Come on down to the elbows. <clears throat> and push yourself up. Take your legs to the center, and we do our diamond, our butterfly right here. Bottom of the feet together, it's a lean, not a curl. So lean your chest if you're taking it out past the screen. There we go. Lean. All right, opening to our straddle. Make sure that you're on your sit bones. So walk them back and then bring your body overhead or to the side. To side, <clears throat> we've got center to the camera a little more. To side, <clears throat> side, to side. Come on, don't lean forward. We want to be over that pelvis. Four more, and three, and in, and sitting in our hips, two, and one. Lift those arms to a Y. Get a nice strong lift right here. And then back to T, and then bring it over, keeping yourself in the side band, keeping your ears. And your uh, ear and your elbow in alignment. Move your head back a little bit. Move your torso back. 
get a little bit, a little less of the scrolling forward thing, right? And then in both hands, bring it down to soft. And we really, if we can find a place to pull to get some resistance, that's good. But what, what happens with this cheek over here? It stays on the floor, okay? And bring it back to center and then open to the T side to side. <clears throat> Four, three, two, and one side. Then take it over, bring yourself back a little bit behind. You don't let yourself roll to the front of the leg, come to the back of the leg. <clears throat> get more of a side bend because what we do <clears throat> is we don't perceive that we're forward, right? So we have to get our, take ourselves what we consider backwards to actually be up. <clears throat> and then both arms up and bring it down. Good. Every kind of stretch or every kind of workout today, we didn't miss. Come to your tabletop. Any part of our legs today, we were all taken care of. We have a lot here. Exhale, curl like that. A lot of here. Exhale, curl like that. A lot of here. Exhale, curl like that. Bottom and chin up. Tap those toes under. Lift up into downward facing dog. We've been here a lot today. Paddle the knees out. Walk it forward. Yeah. Walk those hands in. And Drop your shoulder blades. I know they're trying to go to a three right? Slide it through. Ooh, head over tailbone. There we go. Washing machine. Now we need that too. So today, I will have time. Yes, I have to run out of class today. We have time to say hi. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two. And one, come to center, breathe up. And down it. Two more up. And down, and last time wasn't centering. It's 